Hi guys, welcome to Karen's Corner. If you saw my previous video last Wednesday, you know that I've been to the Art Specialty event and that's a, a stamping event in the Netherlands. That's the stamping event in the Netherlands. There are stamping stores from, from the Netherlands, of course, but also from Sweden, from Germany, from America, from, from everywhere. So um, it's so amazing to be there. I was there for one day and I haven't even seen everything. I just didn't have the time. Also because I'm in that little, we call it a scoot mobile, that little hin hin <laughs> that I have. Uh, or if you're in a wheelchair, it's really hard to get into the, the booths. Um, how do you say that? This is uh, a platte grond, <coughs> a map. Whoa, that was a difficult word. And, uh, oh, you can't see it on here. So there are lots of, uh, like this, I bought a lot at the Duif. <laughs> and then they have a booth like this, let's just say. And then over here you can buy things. There are things on the walls and there are um, little shelves that they put things on. It's like this. And then here you can go to the cash register or they have uh, a demo. So you can walk into the booth. And that's really nice. But when you're in a wheelchair, it's just all too small. You can't go in here and go over here. They're all people watching and standing. And so I have, I'm so lucky that I can get out of my Scoot mobile. Um, I just put it somewhere hoping no one will steal it or the stuff that's in there. And then walk through the booth and then go sit back down again. But uh, I can only do that for so long because I'm in that wheelchair or in this case the scoot mobile because I can't stand still too long or can't walk too long. So they really did a good job this year with the workshops. Uh, I'll tell you later about that. But I'm going to give them a tip about if there's something they can do about, you know, getting the space between the booths bigger because as you can see here this was really I, I haven't been in let's just see this corner because this was all really so close to each other that uh there were loads of people and on saturday it's just you can't just do this in a wheelchair it's so busy on saturday so i always go on sunday i say always i've only been a few times because i used to be one of the people with a store. I used to have stamping store and I loved this event. It was so amazing because everyone who comes here loves stamping. So, wow, it's it's really so much fun. Uh, and, but now I'm a visitor. Um, guys, that's way more expensive. <laughs> Anyways, guys, it's been an amazing day. I had so much fun and I'm, I'm looking forward to next year. So, yeah, yes, okay. Let's just show you what I got. When you got in uh, as you saw, if you watched the video, if you didn't, just watch it after this one or right now. <laughs> uh, you got this really nice goodie bag. And this is the Stamping Cottage. That's a stamping store. And uh, the people that have this run this store also uh, run this event. And they do that every year. And it's a lot of organizing. And they do it so wonderfully. So, uh, yay. Thank you so much, Stamping Cottage. <laughs> So what's inside the goodie bag? Well, first of all, uh, I, don't, I think this came when after they had made these goodie bags. Can you imagine? They had to make, I think, 3,000 of them, maybe more. <laughs> uh, but you also got this one. So uh, this is a stencil from Studio Light. And they're all gorgeous. But I'm so lucky I got this one. I love circles and bubbles and, and dots and stuff. I just love it. I don't know why. I just do. I want to put all my stencils and all my stamps and stuff that have dots in, in just one big box so I can get my dots box out. <laughs> polka dots, I love polka dots as well. So I was so happy with this one. I would have been happy with all of them, but well, one of them. <laughs> but I, I was so happy I got this one. So let me just show you what was inside here. First of all, this wonderful pencil. I wanted to do a workshop with this because you could do a workshop, but I just, I just couldn't. Um, I had to wait for half an hour to do that workshop and then color for an hour. I just couldn't do that anymore. My hands uh, were tired of, you know, um, steering my little car. And I was just, just too tired. <laughs> we went home. Uh, so uh, it was a bit sad I couldn't do this workshop, but I'm so happy with this pencil and I'm going to try and see what it does. It's from Karen Dash and it's so nice to get something for free. I love pencils. So, um, well, let's just get everything out. Yeah. This is from Crealis. I've been at her booth and I'm going to show you what I bought. And she just gave everyone a cute a little die. So this, these are two birds with wings. This is so cute. 
And then you can see what else they have at the moment that's new. You'll see in a minute, but that's so nice to get something like this. And then you got this because everyone was trading A to C's. This year it was amazing. Um, you got this little box you could put your A to C's in. So, um, and then there is also a, 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 a coupon, but I didn't see this until I got home because I didn't open my goodie bag, but that's okay. <laughs> and, um, okay, so this is from Art Specially itself. They make uh, wonderful stamps and they used to make these gorgeous uh, stamping books. And um, this is a really great one. I didn't buy this one. Oh, well, I can still buy it at the stamping cottage. So this is a real nice to look at. It gives you creative ideas. And then you got this one for free. And this one says, I, I didn't see what it said. Well, as I said, I opened it when I got home and I'm so glad I didn't buy this one. I'm not sure if they, if you could buy this actually, but I did buy it in Dutch <laughs> from Art Specially. It says, Kleur je dag, which means color your day. And this one says, uh, live life in color. So it's a bit the same, only in Dutch. <laughs> so uh, yeah, I was, I was so happy with this one because I love this quote, live, live, uh, Live your life now. Live life in color. I just absolutely love it. And kleur je dag. I love that too. So I bought this one. This is not in the goodie bag. This is the goodie bag. So that was the goodie bag. And now we're going on to the things I bought. Well, kleur je dag. So this is a stamp I bought at uh, the stamping cottage. And this is an art specialty stamp. And I love this quote. I'm going to use it so much. Oh, this is so empty now. But not for long. Because first I went to the Duif. The pigeon, if you translate it, uh, this store, uh, because I knew they had the dilution sprays and the dilution paints. They had a promotion with these, so if you bought four of these, so these are five euros each, and if you bought four of these, it would be 17.50 instead of 20 euros. So that was nice. So I bought these new colors. Well, they're not really. I'm not sure how new they are, but I don't have them, and uh, and another one, <laughs> and I bought these two paints. So this is one I already have, but my paint, let me just get it. This is one of the new ones as well. I already had that one and I already bought this one and I already bought this one a while ago. So these three I already had in paint, but this one, oh, it's different. Ah, I bought the wrong one, guys. I bought the wrong one. I bought a uh, funky fuchsia and I had to, wanted to buy bubblegum pink. Why did I do that? Okay, I wanted to buy this one because this one is all dried out and I need to toss it like that. Uh, right, I think I already have this one. That's so stupid. <sighs> oh well, I have a spare. I have to use this color a lot. <laughs> okay, I'm going off topic. Let's just put this back. So I bought these two and I'm so happy with them, except for that this one should have been bubblegum pink. <laughs> That's stupid. So when I bought this, I got this one for free. Isn't that nice? So uh, this is normally six euros and um, they had loads of them and different ones as well. And then it was 250 and now you just got it for free when you bought maybe a lot, I don't know. But anyways, I'm so happy with these sprays and well, these inks, <laughs> so, it's, it's just so stupid. Okay, and this one I got for free, that's always nice. And then guys, I went and did a workshop. I did this one. If you watch my video, you, sh you saw me make it. Isn't it cute? I just, I, I know how this works, but it's so nice to do. And I love seeing uh, Pauline again. And actually I learned something because I didn't know about the bow. I just never thought of coloring a white uh, ribbon with, with the dilution paints. I just never thought of it. <laughs> that was so much fun. I was so surprised. And I thought, oh yeah, you can do that. But I loved making this and I loved seeing Pauline again. So it was it was so much fun. I love that. So I only did one workshop because I just didn't have the time to do more. So I wish I could go two days. One day for shopping, one day for workshops. But because I'm in a wheelchair or a scoot mobile, I, um, I just can't reach everything. So two days, Saturday, just off limits for me. But oh well, I had fun. <laughs> and uh, what else shall I show you? Okay, then I bought this one. I just saw this and I grabbed it and I said, oh, I want this one because it's a circle and I love circles. So, uh, but later on I went to Creali's her booth and then uh, it would have been two euros. So I paid 50 cents too much. Oh. But no, I was really happy when I bought it. It was worth the 50 cents. <laughs> I'm so happy with stuff like this. 
And then I saw this one. I have no idea where I bought it. Uh, oh, Cosa Creative. <laughs> and it's a hard ink splat and I absolutely loved it. It looks so great. I thought, is that a little hard? Because, uh, well, it was re really far away. I had to get out of my little car to uh, go and check it out. And I thought, yes, these are little hearts. That's awesome. So it looks a bit like a dot, like a splatter, which I absolutely love. But then it's heart shaped. So I thought 11 euros was a bit, was a bit steep for just one stamp especially the polymer stamps. Guys, I'm one of the people that started with the rubber stamps. You know, stamps like this on rub on wood, really nice rubber stamps. And then paying 11 euros for a bit of plastic, that's still very hard. But I know these have improved in the last uh, 10 years. When I sold them, when I had my stamping store, they just started making these and the, well, it wasn't the best quality and they weren't that expensive and now they're just as expensive as a, as a rubber stamp So but for me, that's still very hard But I love this one and I didn't mind spending 11 euros on it and they were so glad that they gave this to me <laughs> Stickers with thank you. Oh, isn't that nice? So, um, yeah, I've got these What else? What else? <laughs> so much and then you saw me looking at some foamies and I thought they were 50% off, which I thought was amazing. But they weren't because everything on that table was 50% off except the foamies. So uh, yeah, I didn't buy them uh, in the end. So I just went on and later on the day I saw these at Studio Light. And these are from Miranda van den Bos, which is really nice because van den Bos is my maiden name. So uh, that's really funny. <laughs> and you write it exactly the same. Um, and I know uh, Miranda from workshops and stuff. And uh, she's a really great person and she's so creative. And she has her own stamping line and she has stencils and she even has foamies. And I absolutely love this one. And these are uh, steampunk foamy stuff. So I bought these and these were 7 euro each. But when you bought two of them, it was only 10 euros. So that was a, a good uh, promotion. So I bought two of them. I can't wait to use them them over here and the next 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 what shall i show you else oh, i'm gonna show you what i bought at Crealis. so that was the store that i went to after i had bought this one somewhere else <laughs> so if you saw my last video of the art specialty event you might have seen me going nuts over these <laughs> i just love these so much because normally if you have stencil it's like this with a border and i don't always like that so these ones are amazing so i've got this one which I really love. And then I've got this one, which is a bit the same, but totally different. And then I've got this one. And I've got a spider web. And this one I just love. I love these lines. I just love that. <laughs> and a cute rose. And then some um, film strips. So I thought, yeah. Oh, I need to get this little piece out. Shouldn't forget. <laughs> so uh, these were 2 50 each, which is really cheap. Uh, but if you bought... Um, five they were only two euros and every one you bought more is it was only two euros so it's two euros for each of these so that's just really inexpensive and the fun part if you might have seen if you watched my video again um that i also bought the little stamps that coordinate and also two euros each so that's really cheap look at this I'm, i don't know what to do with it yet but I'm gonna use uh, it on my jelly plate or I might just make a, a page with uh, distress inks or stuff. I don't know yet, but oh, I love this. And I've, so I've got these two and I've got these two. I just think it's so amazing that they are the same. And later on I found out that they also have dyes, but oh well, I, I don't use dyes that much. But uh, you could have used them together, would have been nice. So I've got those. And then of course I've got circles. Oh, and then I've got circles. And yes, I've got dots. And guys, I already thought I th when I was at the booth, I thought I have these. I'm pretty sure I have these. But then I thought, or do I? <laughs> so I did buy them and I thought if I have them, it's okay. Well, here you go. I have them. <laughs> I bought these a while back. But that's okay. I'm going to keep one like this and the other one I'm just going to cut you know, maybe three dots or even one dot. I've been looking for a stamp with one dot for so long. So I've got a relatively big one, a smaller one. Well, this is just too small. You can't even see it, I think. So, but I'm just gonna cut off uh, 
make little stamps out of it. One dot and one with two dots and one with three, three dots and four dots. And So it's okay. This one I'm gonna keep like it is and this one I'm gonna cut to pieces. <laughs> and I saw this one. I absolutely love this one. These are little hearts at the end of the stripes. I'm not sure if you can see it. <laughs> so that's what I bought at Creolis. And then I got something in my goodie bag. So yeah, quite a lot. <laughs> And then I have this one. Yes, another stencil. <laughs> so I sent uh, pictures of what I bought to my friend Mario. She couldn't come because she had just had an operation and she was so sad she couldn't come. But uh, I did bring her back some goodies that she wanted. And I thought, I saw this one, I thought, oh, this is a nice little present for her. So I was sure not to put it in my pictures that I sent to her uh, that evening of what all, everything I bought. She said, what did you buy? What did you buy? So I sent pictures and I didn't show this one. But I forgot that in the, the video that she watched, you saw this one. You saw me walking around with this one quite a while. And I had two of them. And she just thought, oh, she's going to buy it for her daughter. <laughs> so she was so surprised when she got this, when I, I visited her uh, this week. <laughs> uh, she saw it, but she didn't know it was for her. So that was a surprise. Little fun story. Um, what else do I have? I have this. I treated myself to some more. Oh, really hard to show you washi tape by uh, Diane Reevely because I really love these colors and normally I would have thought yeah well I'm, I'm gonna make this myself but I hardly make my own washi tape you can make your own washi tape it's really nice to do but uh, I just thought it was so nice and this looks so great with I'm turning it around it's the same everywhere <laughs> oh well it looks so great with all my dilution stuff and I'm gonna make a deliberate dilution video uh, I hope to upload it I think Monday I hope to upload it. So um, maybe I might use some of this in it. I don't know yet. But yeah, I treated myself to this because 10 euros is a lot. But guys, you get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven of these uh, washi tape rolls. So actually it's not that expensive. It's just that 10 euros is a lot to spend in one in one go. But yeah, I, was, I, I treated myself to this and I'm really happy with it. Um, I have more to show you. I also... Oh, first let me show you the ATCs that I got. I'm not sure if you're interested in ATCs. If you're not, well, skip this part. <laughs> I had this with me. I made this a, a long time ago. This is actually a little Winx trading cards album. <laughs> and I just went over it with, I have no idea, alcohol ink maybe? I don't know. It's been a while. And um, I keep my ATCs in here. So uh, I did trade a few. Well, quite a lot actually, but uh, I made these especially for the Art Specialty event and then the first few hours I forgot that I could trade. So I forgot. To if I had put this in my basket uh, when I was driving around, people could have seen it and thought, oh, she's got ATCs, do you want to trade? That's how it goes, but I forgot. So I still have loads left. Well, for next year, that's okay. But I did trade a few. So I've got... I'm just going to show you a bit. This one, uh, this has got a bit of glare because it's got the protective sleeve on it. I just love this one. And of course they're all stamped because it's a stamping event. This cutie. I love the glitter over here. And this cutie. <laughs> and some of them you saw me pick out. Uh, this one, I just love this one with the gold. This is, is something I absolutely love. So, And this one. And this monster. <laughs> and this one is so cute. Uh, this was the first one I traded. And then this creepy one. <laughs> I just thought it was so much fun. This, guys, I absolutely love these colors. I'm going to do something with it. So that's the fun part of uh, getting these A to Cs. You think of ideas and you think, oh, I can do something with that. I like the fact that she used a uh, canvas. So I'm going to do something with that. Might, might take me half a year, but it's the idea that I now have in my mind. And this monster, and then here you have, hi, hello, and some fishies. So I did trade quite a lot, but not as much as I wanted to, because I just completely forgot, because there was stamps and stuff everywhere. <laughs> but I'm happy I did trade some. So, just a few more items. Uh, I bought this. This is from Kyra Bell Studio. It's an art printing, texture printing thing. Okay. Uh, it's not really a stamp. You can use it as a stamp, but it's really thin. But you can use this on your jelly plate and just print with it and uh, put 
paint over it. And first I wanted to cut this into little pieces. I'm just going to show you this side. Let's see what it is. But uh, I think I'm just going to keep it like this. Because the fun part with this is you can just take your sheet and just put it on your work like that and take it off again. So it's not going to be really a square um, per se. I just think it's gorgeous. And maybe one day I might just cut it into little pieces. But if I want these stripes, I'm just going to put this on my work and do that. And then I just have stripes. I hope. I have to try it out first. <laughs> I've never used these. I just absolutely love this one. I don't know why. Maybe because they're circles. <laughs> Might be. And stripes. Hmm. Surprise. Yeah. I, I always reach for these. So uh, I thought it was would be really fun to, to try and use this. I was um, I had lost my jelly plates. I thought I had lent them to someone. But I didn't know who. And uh, I didn't know where they were. But while I was decluttering the attic... I found them again. I have no idea how they got in the attic because I always keep them under my desk. I have some cabinets under my desk and I keep my jelly plates over there. They were gone. So I haven't used them in uh, I think a year, maybe a year and a half. So I need to start doing that again and I can't wait to start using these. I think it's gonna be so much fun. Okay, um, then I have this one, number 31. Uh, I just saw this uh, because I'm in my little uh, scoot mobile, I just uh, s the most things that I see is the stuff that is hanging on the wall. So uh, because everything that's on the booth itself, on the tables, I I have difficulty seeing. I have to get really close, and that's hard because there are always people. But um, maybe that's a good thing because otherwise I would have bought so much more. And I I stayed in budget, guys. I have 30 euros left. Can you imagine? <laughs> I can't. But I do. But I still want to order that die from the Gumiya Panda. Oh, I didn't show you that one. I've got more to show you. Ah, from the, these guys. But first, let me just show you this one. I got interrupted, so I'm not sure where I was. But um, I was telling you that I the most things that I see are on the walls. So I saw, or hanging from somewhere. I saw this hanging and I saw it from afar and I thought, wow, that looks different. And it does. And I, I just love the way it looked. I don't know why, per perhaps because of the dots and the lines and I don't know. But I think I like the fact um, that you can use this for one color and then put this one over it. I think it's the same size. I'm not really sure. But if it isn't, it's still just a really nice one. I have no idea how to use it yet. But I just thought the it was a right, really weird shape. It, it just spoke to me. So I had to have it, of course. <laughs> And uh, I also went to what I was saying, Gumiapan, Gumiapan, I have no idea how to pronounce it, it's Swedish. And they had these, this one, I saw this one, I thought, wow, it has lines, I need it. And it was uh, 30 crowns, which is 3 euros. So that was not that expensive, so I wanted this one. But you have to mount these immediately, if I don't do that, I never use this. So I have to put these on my desk, all the things I have to mount. Which are only these, I think. Oh, and the, this one, color your day. I have to mount it immediately. Otherwise I forget and you just don't use it. So um, this one and he a splatter. <laughs> I just thought it was so nice. It was only four euros and I really like this one. You can also get this effect when you got your distress stains and you just splatter it on your page. I've done that on my card. But I love this. <laughs> And uh, this die, it just spoke to me. I just love the lines and stuff. So I thought, oh, well, let's buy a die. <laughs> and then the, uh, if you again saw the video, you saw that it had this cute little unicorn. And I'm going to order it today. It's a unicorn and they also have a die that goes with it. And um, But the, the stamp was sold out. And so I'm going to order it. And uh, they did have this text, this sentiment that says, always be yourself. Unless you can be a unicorn, then always be a unicorn. I love it. So yeah, I bought these and I'm going, so I've got 30 euros left, but I'm going to order the, the stamp and the die, but then I still have a little bit left. But I also want to order something at Studio Light. If you again watch the video, you saw that they have a ticket die that I absolutely love. And next month they're going to have the same die, but really small, uh, really, really small. So I'm going to love that one. So I need to buy that one as well. And then I think I'm just a little bit over budget, but oh well, I've been good this year. <laughs> So I saw this one at Studio Light and I absolutely loved it. And if you know my videos, you might guess why. Because I can make really cute cards, uh, Alice in Wonderland cards with this one. I love it. Look at how cute that looks. Oh, 
So these are stamps with dies, so I, can, I don't need to fussy cut them, I can just put them in my big shot and uh, ta-da, I have, uh, have it cut out for me. So uh, yeah, I just thought this was would be really funny with some Alice stuff, so I needed it as I needed everything else. So then I thought, this is enough. I, I, I'm tired, I want to go home, I had a fun day if I go on, now I'm just gonna get really tired and everything is gonna start to hurt, we need to go. Which was a really di a difficult decision. So first we went to the toilet, of course, because it was a long drive. I think it's, well, an hour and a half, I think, maybe maybe just a bit more. So when we went there and we came back, then I saw the cats on apple tree stand. And that was in the corner where I hadn't been. And I've missed so many people that I wanted to talk to that were all in that corner. But it was just so busy and so small. So I didn't go there. But I wanted to go to uh, cats on apple trees because I just love their stamps. Uh, last year I bought loads of them. Um, but they are, they are not cheap, but they are gorgeous. And I thought, oh, I'm already over budget because I had no idea how much I had spent. And then I bought these and this was 18 euros. <laughs> but I was surprised that I still had money left. I saw these two cuties. So this is Yup and this is Aki. And I thought I can stamp these in pink and, and, and pastel blue and colors like that, pastel green, and make something really cute because I'm really into cute stuff now. So I thought that would be really nice because normally you just stamp these in black because the way these things look, you want to stamp them in black. But I thought I'm going to stamp them in pink and, and other colors. And then I saw this one. I think this one was five, 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 five how do you say that? Five euro fifty. <laughs> oh boy, guys. So this one was five euro fifty, and that's a lot of money for such a little stamp. So I put it back, and then I thought, well, no, it's really nice. It's a swirl and a dot and a circle. But I put it back again, and then I thought, you know what? I probably over budget, so I can also buy this one. Uh, I know I'm going to grab this one so often. I'm gonna put this on my shelf over here, and um, this is one of those stamps you just use a lot if you have it on hand which I'm gonna do. So I'm so happy I bought it and I still had some money left. <laughs> so guys, it's been a longer video than I expected. Maybe that's because I talk a lot, but <laughs> I don't know. But uh, yeah, I had such a great time at the Art Specialty event. If you live in the Netherlands or in Belgium or Germany or close by and you can come next year, just do it. It's so much fun. They have so many workshops. And, oh, that's what I wanted to say. That was the good thing they did uh, for wheelchair people. <laughs> um, I mean, the workshops I saw, I don't know if it was everywhere, but they had these workshop spaces uh, that are really spacious. <laughs> and uh, where I went uh, at Pauline's workshop, there was one part where there was no chair. There was a little um, craft mat, but there was no chair. But there was a little sign that said that it was for wheelchair uh, People. That's a really weird word. Wheelchair people. People in a wheelchair. So you could just uh, push a wheelchair under the table and just, you know, sit down. Because normally you have to wait in line, but people just tend to go in front of you when you're in a wheelchair or in scoot mobile like I am. Um, sometimes because they just think, I'm just going to stand in front of you. And sometimes they just don't notice. So uh, it's really hard to join a workshop. But this time there were spaces especially for people in wheelchairs and stuff. So that was amazing. I could just sit down and uh, and make this cute workshop. So guys, that's a good idea. Keep it up next year. So guys, I'm, I'm going to stop now. Uh, <laughs> hope you like the video. Let me know what you think is I should use first. What should I use first? I mean, I have no idea. It's all so nice. But I would love to know what you want me to use first. Not sure I'm going to do it, but I would love to know. <laughs> so guys, if you're not already subscribed, I would love it if you subscribe, of course. And uh, I've got a great video every Monday and Wednesday. At least I want to. There are going to be some very busy weeks. I'm going to Disneyland Paris. So uh, I'm not sure if I can upload a creative video every Monday and Wednesday for the next few weeks, but I'm trying. And uh, I have a Disney video every Saturday and that's not going to be a problem for a long while because I'm going to film in Disneyland. And um, well, some videos like this somewhere in between. And uh, so I would love it if you subscribe and leave a comment down below. And well, I'm going to stop now and say stempel groetjes, stamping greetings. Groetjes from Holland. Bye.